So in this work, we start by going to our model wizard where under we select global definitions, so model wizard, then we select a 1D space dimension, which brings us to our physics. So we'll be using electrochemistry under which we'll select the electroanalysis. So we have to add this to our work. And in the concentrations table, as you can see over here, we're going to make some modifications in here. So we'll change this to C to X. And we change this to C. Sorry. This would be C to X, and this would be C red, and this would be C to X. So we move to our steady. Then in the steady, we select the preset studies. Under the preset studies, we have to select the AC impedance initial values. So that's what we'll be using. Click done, and that brings us to our work interface. So we move to our parameters and the parameters we're going to load from file. So loading from file brings us here where we select impedance spectroscopy parameters. We add it to our work. So now that we've successfully added our parameters, move to our gym, we can start building our geometry now. Since this work will be using a 1D geometry, we add interval. We right click on the geometry and we add an interval. And in the coordinates for the interval, here will be zero. Here we'll move to L, E, one. It's already defined. This is already defined in the parameters. L underscore one before we do that let's build let's check from our parameters and we have this in here l underscore el so this what is supposed to be Yeah, that's going to, it's a big, a big L underscore E and a small L. Let's build. And we have it here. You can see. Move to electroanalysis and in the electro electroanalysis we have the electrolytes one 
So we start with the diffusion coefficient for as defined over here. So the diffusion coefficient, we want to make this field D. And also for this field, we want to make that side to D. Then we move to our initial values. Initial values. And we move to the concentration side. For the concentration side for C, concentration and reduction side is going to be C underscore bulk concentration. And for the oxidation side, we have C underscore bulk. That's the concentration for the initial values of the of the reduction and oxidation side. And we go to concentration, we want to add concentration. We'll add concentration. But before that, let's click uh, physics, go to the boundaries and we add concentration. So that's how to add the concentration to it. Yeah. As you can see, we have added our concentration one. We select boundary two. Only. So under the concentration for this, this side, you want to select only species for reduction. And in this field, you want to type C underscore bulk concentration for this section. And also we want to select species for oxidation. We want to type in C underscore bulk concentration of this. Okay, so Go, I want to see if we can add an electrode surface. So we add uh, an electrode surface over here. And let us have this set boundary one only. And in the set sense on the electric surface, you go to the harmonic perturbation. And in this field, you want to change this field to E as called as shown here. That will, that will do for the electric surface. We want to add electrode reaction.
I'll go to the electrode reaction. Locate the stoichiometric coefficients. And under here, that for reduction, we type one. That for oxidation should be negative one. Let's locate the electrode kinetics. And for the reference, exchange current density. We'll define it as this reference. Over here. So in the electrode surface one, Want to okay? We have the reaction. We have everything in here. Okay. So after we've done, we've, we've been able to add the electric surface and put in the values for the exchange current density. We go to the model builder window and we click the electro surface one. And in here, we have to look at the double layer capacitance. So we add the double layer capacitance. So for the CDL, electrical double layer capacitance, we type CDL. So now we've been able to add our electric surface concentration, done everything for initial values. So define the concentration for electrolyte. Now we can move on to mesh our work. Okay, so in the mesh section, what we do is uh, we move to the sequence size, which is the phase control, the element size. We want to make it extremely fine. So extremely fine in here, then we right click on the size and we go to the edit physics induced sequence. Remember size one. Locate the element size and custom it. But one side, we check this and we want to type X, let's call minimum in five. Okay. Now you can build all. Okay. That builds our mesh. What we we'll do next is now we move to now our work. We can now move to steady to start. Computing, I want to get some results. We will do parametric sweep. 
and a frequency domain perturbation to get our results for the, the Nyquist plot for this work. So I would like us to continue that part in the next video. So I'll see you in the next video for the continuation of this part. All right.